drove up this morning, all toned up, <coughs> I hope. Uh, actually, I've lost my voice. Oh, you've never. Straight up. Gave out in Morsley Street. I tried this top note. Oh, no. Would well, you want me to cancel the audition? I mean, I'm at the graffiti this dinner. I can talk to Alec. Gary changed to next week. I'm only kidding you, Nelly. Ha, 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 ha. As you can hear, my tonsils are in good working order. In fact, this fella down in Cumming Street asked me if I was Madonna. I said, if I was Madonna, would I be taking papers? He said, well, there's worse things Have you, you told your dad yet? No, I've not said a word. I think I'll wait till I get results. I mean, if I boob the audition and it all fizzles Well, you out. keep taking the bird, CD. See the graffiti about two. Oh, the butterflies are starting already. <laughs> <laughs> Has your uh, dad gone to work yet? I doubt it, not yet. Nine's more his time. And Lord knows where he got to last night. Oh. Late him, was he? Gone for. Well, probably out with the boys, eh? Yeah, more than likely. See ya. See ya. Hello, Dad. Hello. Now, where were you last night? Gallivanting, I'll be bound. What are you on about? Hey! Hand off my toast. Oh, is he starving? Didn't his lady friend feed him then before she kicked him out into the cruel dawn? Where you get this dramatic bit from beats me, you know. It's me talents, me gifts. What I have to offer the waiting world. Anyway, what are you on about, lady friend? Was that with the lads last night? Yeah, likely story. What are your plans for today, then? Oh, I'll have a long got soak, a careful manicure, then I'll slide into my most dazzling pair of jeans. Then what? I'll, um, I'll go down the market, see if I can get some LPs going cheap. Will you be around town this afternoon, going into the graffiti or out to see Gloria? Shouldn't think so, no, why? Well, it just so happened she called last night when you were out with the boys. And she? I wouldn't say she were checking up, but she did notice she weren't around and I've got a feeling she might ask a question or two. So if you could dodge her on your way to work and I'd stay clear the graffiti and all. Dodge her? Well, she's probably lying in wait for you right now behind the door. It's what you get for being so madly attractive. To waylay me, is that the theory? That's right. So, eat your ready, Breck. I believe that's what Oliver Reed has for his breakfast. Wish me luck. With what? Your trip to the market. Well, now, and what were you up to till four o'clock this morning? Oh, come on, Miss Prim, you must have a glimmering. I have. It beats me how you can be so brazen about it. Brazen? That's a bit strong, isn't it? I'm only confiding in you, my best pal. Well, I suppose it all started with Eve. And to tell you the truth, I could sense that there'd been some progress. You've got a sort of aura about you. Well, to be honest, the world does look that bit different today. Brighter, more rosy pink. Morning. Morning. You know how Mrs. O's tied up with a bad leg? Yes, so I believe. Poor Mrs. Ogden. She does have some misfortunes. Hope she's coping all right. Yeah, well, uh, Sally's doing wonders, like. She just wondered if you could pop round with that mag of hers, uh, woman or something or other. Yes, certainly. No trouble at all. There you are. Mrs. Fairclough was a bit quiet, wasn't she? Well, seemingly she had a very late night and she's now in that state where she's looking at a jar of humbugs and not seeing a jar of humbugs. Oh, uh, with you. It's like me looking at a gasket and seeing Sally. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There used to be a box of jelly babies, second shelf down, third from the left, that used to put me in mind of a certain gentleman friend of mine. Oh, not that Derek was anything like a jelly baby, any more than Sally resembles a gasket or Rita's beloved favours a mint humbug. So, uh, who's a beloved when he's at home? No, no, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you anyway. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'm sorry, Alan. You must think I'm a right fool. Do you know I couldn't sleep last night? I missed you. I knew you hadn't come home, you see, and I was wondering where you were. Gloria, it's nine o'clock in the morning, love, and I've got to be at work. Look, I'll see you tonight and explain everything, OK? Not that there's anything I'm to I'm working explain, tonight. Uh, well, after that, then. You might get with the lads again. I mean, it was the lads you were with last night, I take it? Yes, that's right, yeah. Uh, we played cards. Of course you did. Oh, I'm not checking up on you, Alan. It's just, you know, I, I got to thinking, well, where is he? Who's he with? Then I thought to myself, well, I've got no claim on you, have I? Look, I'll see you tonight, love, all right? Why not now? Or are you too tired or something? I'm a working man. I'll get the sack. Oh, come on. You can swing it, can't you? Just an hour. Tell him some tale. I mean, uh, it's conscience, you can always work your tea break. Well, 
that's the bathroom done. But I heck it needed doing. And that lino you've got, I mean, who has lino these days? <laughs> Cost a pretty penny, that I might tell you. It's real coke. Any road, I might be having carpet put down. All your carpets want putting down along with flipping room. Mrs. Lowther's promised me hers, you see, when she has the guest bathroom redone. Creeping gets you everywhere. Do you fancy a brew? I'm brewing up. Oh, I thought you'd never get round to it. Warm the pot if you don't mind. Uh, two tea bags and no stirring. Let it brew by itself. If you ask me, that Mrs. Lowther's right dim. Sending me home without so much as my bus fare. I mean, I'd done as much as you could have done and only taken half the time. Oh, yes, I dare say you would have coped. You're not slow with the duster. Nearly as sharp as you are with your tongue. Thank you, ma'am. Much obliged. Will you be giving me a reference? No, but you see, what they want, such as Mrs Lowther, what you might call the upper orders, is respect. Oh, blimey. Long live Queen Victoria. Oh, you can mock as much as you like, young lady. Mm. But I found that if you give them respect, they give it back. Mm. Is that how it works, is it? I mean, you work for them and then they work for you. And this'll be Mrs. Lowther now, will it? Come to offer her services. In your unfortunate incapacity. Oh, I, uh, is, is Mrs. Ogden receiving visitors? Yes, come on in, love. We've got a brew on. All oh, right. I brought you magazine. Mrs. Ogden, Kevin said you were in Miami. <laughs> oh, dear me. Quite the invalid. Oh, yes. Well, I dare say I'm over the worst. Oh, I am glad. Oh, hello, pussy. <laughs> being waited on hand and foot, I see. Yes, I can't deny I've been very well looked after. Oh, I'm sure you find her quite a treasure. It's nice to see young people rallying round, isn't it? So how do you find housework, then? Well, it comes naturally, doesn't it? I mean, I find it deeply fulfilling. Oh, that's nice. And I hear you've taken over Mrs Ogden's cleaning jobs for now. Yes, well, she's doing for Mr Baldwin, or I should say Mrs Baldwin, <laughs> but Mrs Lowther, you know, the doctor's lady from Bolton Road, upper end. She preferred to wait till I'm back on my feet again. Well, it's all the china she has and the heirlooms. Yes. Oh, that's a pity. I expect you'd have found Mrs Lowther quite a challenge, Sally. <laughs> Actually, I thought she were an old bat. Um, milk and sugar, my lady. Look, look, I've told you the cheque's in the post. Well, if that's your attitude, I shall just have to shop around. I mean, quite frankly, Cyril, I'll go for your fancy labels, but your ale's rubbish. You all right, Alec? Fine, you? No, 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 what I mean, Alec, is, is am I all right for a bend, like? Oh, what? I'm a needed, is that out down? Shall I nip home and get my white jacket? Oh, like? I'm sorry, Chum. Oh, great. I signed 30 odd flipping members and dropped my little legs Look, off. Look, I've told you. In my book, a member is a dedicated booze artist seeking round the clock nourishment. Not that miserable bunch of orange juice merchants you've signed up. Do you know, some I wish I was a member of the mafia. Do you know, something else I am. Well, I, th I thought we had an agreement. I mean, I'd stick around, make myself useful, and get a few free bits. Uh, yeah, like. fair enough. And when that's on, I'll give you a shout. But not today. I mean, we're hardly mobbed, are we? Pay up, pay up. She's arrived. <laughs> Strippers here, Jen. You are. Why, they're surprised. Didn't you read the small print on your contract? Topless service when all else fails. Why, oh, yeah, Jack, what have we come to, eh? You overslept, have you? Uh, something like that, yeah. You sticking around? There's no point, is there? Tell you the truth, I think the next stop's the river. There's no trust now, Gloria. Never painted a picture like this when I were in the wolf cubs, did they? Yeah, well, listen, you've got it straight now, haven't you? Mighty mouse cocks that I'm missing. It's a dental appointment. Right, now you've got that. I've got it, Vera. But to be honest, I can't see pointing all this blooming secrecy. Hey, kid, you know what our jack's like? I don't know, but jibe if I fail. And I will fail. I can feel it in my water. Well, you're certainly making it hard for yourself, aren't you, with all this dodging about? How your man can be on it beats me. And hang on, if your driving instructor's not calling here, how are you going to test centre? Oh, I'm meeting Peter at lock-up. Yeah, he's taking me. Oh. Oh, I, I feel really shaky. Do you think I should call it all off? Don't talk daft. What, all these weeks you've been bragging about how you're going to walk it? <laughs> Thanks, Eddie <laughs> Rowe. Okay. Hey, keep me in your thoughts, won't you? Keep rooting for me. Oh, hey up. Aye, aye. You two are cutting it a bit fine, aren't you? 
Hey, hang on a minute. Where are you dashing off to? Uh, oh, it's my teeth, Mr. Baldwin. Honest to God, I've been in awful pain. I thought I'd go away, but I'm starting to swell up. Well, I think it's a chewing gum. And I think you're trying to pull a fast one. And yeah. I'm not wearing it. But I did ask permission, and Ivy did give me it. Go ahead. Yeah, she did. She yeah. did, Mr. Baldwin. And she has got this terrible tooth. Yeah. All right, I'll buy it this time, but make it snappy. Oh, and remember, no dentist, Chitty. No pay. You are a balm pot, you. Well, you're blowing your test, aren't you? You'll never pass it now, state your nerves will be in. Look, Maisie, my love, how many times do I have to tell you the check is in the post? Ye yes, I know it was a ropey booking. OK, no more sub -aqua club stag nights. Uh, yes, I will have a word about your tassels. They've no right pension on Oh, hello, Jen. You're early, aren't you? Now, listen, don't look too disappointed. I wanted to come early, wear the scene up. Is that Alec Gilroy? That's him. And if you feel like skedaddling... Oh, now, listen, I've got a good one for you here. No, it's not a double. The Police Gun Club. Hot Pot Supper and Cabaret. Yes, now you'll need a helmet, a truncheon, or oh, a whistle. You... Well, think about it and ring me back. Turns. Oh, Glow, I'm just pushing off. I've one or two checks to post. Hey, how old are you, sweetheart? Uh, no, hang on, Alec. This is the girl I mentioned, Jenny Bradley. You're losing me. I'm supposed to audition for you. Oh, yeah? What do you do? I told you, she sings. Sings, eh? <laughs> Who doesn't? Listen, I'll be back. She's good, Alec. That doesn't half narrow the options. <laughs> Forget the bar stool, Petal. It's all right for Las Vegas, but if we're thinking of some backstreet social club and other venues of that ilk, you'll need that stool in your hand, never mind sitting on it. I'll get that, my love. Is that your backing track? Um, yeah, it's the group I sing with. Will it be all right? Peripheral. Hello? Wrong number. But seeing as the Steinway's being tuned, it'll do. Stick it in our machine, will it, Glow? How about my laddio? Him? <laughs> He's the best audience she'll ever have. Start. Go on, kid. Give him the works. Kiss today goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same to you. But I can't regret what I did for love, what I did for love. Gone, love is never gone. As we drive along, love's what we Today, goodbye, and point me towards tomorrow. We did what we I did for 
save my life. I need some drawing pins, red tops. Oh, why red especially? Something to do with the colour scheme? Sounds for urgent. Oh, I see. Well, my valued assistant here will be only too happy to oblige. That is, she will look through our vast stock of drawing pins for the colour of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a bit flowery today. I mean, you think that she's doing a stock count, don't you? I believe she's actually composing love lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Okay, that's 25p, please. 25, there we are. Yes, thanks very much. Oh, by the by, are you still running that feature on Good Neighbours? Uh, we are indeed, proving very popular. Well, I was in Mrs Ogden's today, and I, well, you know, she's laid up with a bad ankle, and young Sally Seddon's doing wonders, and I just thought, well, you hear so much these days about young people being vandals and such, you know, just thought it might make an item. Hmm. Could be right. He's going to drop in on Hilda anyway. Thanks for the tip. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Hello. Hello, Jan. Hello, hello. Oh, Alan, at last. <coughs> I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Uh, Even your office didn't know where you were. Well, as you can imagine, I was a bit late turning in this morning, and uh, I've just been down to this carpet warehouse we're working on, arguing with so called welders. Well, I'm sure you'll take it all in your stride. Will I see you tonight? Uh, I don't know. You see, I've half promised to work late. There's a million and one snags on this contract. Um, I shouldn't really be here now. I've just popped in to say hello. Yeah. Tomorrow night, then? Tomorrow night will be fine, yes. At your place, eh? I mean, I know your reputation will be in shreds, but uh, on the other hand, we won't have Jenny under our feet all the time. Oh, you think of everything. See you at nine o'clock. Right. Bye now. Bye. I wouldn't be surprised if she weren't faking that ankle, you know. I mean, the other day, I had the tube on. Do you know that programme on Channel 4? And I went out to get flipping washing in. And when I come back, we were on snooker. Now, did she change that, eh? I mean, we haven't got a remote control effort. Well, Hilda does claim to have psychic powers, you know. Either that or she's got Rommel trained. Yeah, like she's trying to train me. <laughs> well, she's had that. Draw, <laughs> love. Hiya. How's your wine department? Well stocked, I hope. Yeah. Take your pick. All right. Well, uh, I'll have a, one, a bottle of that. Yeah, that one there. Really? Um, yeah, it is. The working month's friends with a million jobs to do, eh? Now, for instance, I have just copped a look at your backyard. Now, I'm not saying you're infringing anything, but it's a right little muck heap. Now, quick fiver had see me sort it out between now and tea time. Oh, would it? What's happened to this marvellous job you had with the graffiti club, then? Ah, oh, I kicked it in the touch, didn't I? I mean, Gilroy, you begged and pleaded, but I had to be a bit ruthless. It's a sinking ship, that dump. Oh, aye. And who is it usually leaves a sinking ship first? Well, I'll tell you what, chum. If I can find a pair of overalls to fit your manly frame, you can stand in for Vera. Why, has she not turned in or something? Got the afternoon off, ain't she? Dentist appointment. So she tells me. Did you know she was having trouble with her molars? Did heck, she's got teeth like horse. Only this morning, over my breakfast, I was watching her jumping away. And I thought, blimey, while she lives, Red Rum will never die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up. What's that? Did you hear me? Get an eyeful of that, Mr. Mickey Taker. I've got my wheels now. It's official. From now on, I'm mobile. Ha! Hi there, Superwoman. I don't know, tooth extractions, driving tests, all in the same afternoon. Oh, you modern birds. Never stop, do you? <laughs> well, I had to keep it a secret, Mr. Baldwin. I mean, village idiot here. Well, he'd have sent me up rotten if I'd have failed. I had to well, though, haven't I? Surprise us all, Vera. And to show you I'm ever thoughtful, I'll lighten your pay packet a bit this week. Make it easy to pick up. Don't want you getting a sprained wrist, do we? Oh, and uh, no pinching my parking space, OK? You had to crow, didn't you? They were me as pleased as punch, but you had to make with the mouth. Oh, never mind, Chuck. I might take it at seaside. I'll tell you what, get the camera. Take a few snaps of me behind this wheel. <laughs> Hiya, flowers! Hiya, did it! Come on, give us a clap, then. <laughs> Great, <love. laughs> Yeah. Well, it's very neighbourly of you to call, Kenneth. And if you should ever suffer a similar misfortune, you can be quite sure I'll do likewise. There's uh, one good thing come out of all this, though, isn't there? Oh, yes? What's that, then? Well, if you're going to set booby straps for burglars, make sure it's at the bottom of the stairs and not the top. Good tip for the handyman column, is that? Absolutely. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I did think I might do something in this good neighbour feature that we're running. Oh, yes. Well, I may be old-fashioned, but I do believe in pulling together. After all, it's what won us the war. Is this going to be a fortune story, then? Is Mrs all going to get a picture Oh, no, 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 let me make it clear. I mean, although it's called Good Neighbour, basically what we're after are examples of community service. Now, I did hear 
that uh, your other lodger, Sally, uh, I did hear that she's really showing, when you get down to it, that the uh, youngsters of today, well, that their hearts are in the right place. Blooming cat, I could throttle it. I'll throw out the guinea with your best tights. So I grabbed it by its tail and I get Emily Rotten Bishop making critical comments at me. Oh, I, uh... Um, Ken was just saying I'll focus saying nice things about yourself. Wonderful, I'm dead chuffed. Tell him I'm going to donkey storm the step tomorrow, 10 p a ticket. Oh, now, Chuck, don't put yourself in a bad light. Show Kenneth what you're made of. Sugar and spice and all things nice. You can stuff that. Take no notice, Kenneth. She's a good lass, really, but she will show herself up. <laughs> Now, stop acting silly, put the kettle on and make us visit her a nice pot of tea. What's up with his lordship, then? Is he paralysed? I mean, you tea. Did you ever see such a pair of shameless exploiters? Well, look, if it's any bother... Hang on, I'll No, 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 right, right, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, I've got to be going. Um, oh. Hope you'll soon be up and about on your feet again. Oh, thank right. you again, Kenneth. Right. Ah. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. Was there any need for that exhibition? Could have had your name in the papers, and if you played your cards right. Good neighbour of the week. I don't put airs on. Oh, crikey, Sal, don't get in a mood. What's wrong with you lately? You'll be giving me a bit off, will you, Alf? You know, usual trade discount like. I hope you're joking, Alec. Not really. Well, there ought to be prices you charge. I should be bunging a bit extra on. Oh, come on, be fair, I'm buying in bulk here. I beg your pardon? Well, I mean, I didn't bank on paying top price. Well, I can soon put them back, you oh, know. No, 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 it's all right. I mean, I do need the stuff. Uh, it'll have to be a cheque, though. Anyway, what are your sizes about? Do you not have your own regular supplier? Well, regular till this week, they've gone bust. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you something, Alec. People who sell liquor don't usually go bust. Ah, well, that's my luck, isn't it? What was the total again? Uh, no, sorry, Alec. On second thoughts, I don't think I can take a cheque. <laughs> Come off it. What sort of a businessman are you? Prudent, I think the word Prudent. is. Prudent? Blimey, you want to come out of the egg. Here, never mind all that. I'm once bitten, twice shy. <coughs> it's like doing business with flaming Noddy. Look, mate, I'm a retailer. I'm not here to supply an outfit like yours. Oh, you'd be telling me there's a bylaw next. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if there was. Oh, yeah. What happened there's a bylaw about backstreet hairdressing rip-offs. Think about that, councillor. Hey, did you hear that? I could sue him. Take no notice, he's all talk. Oh, that bloke, I'll tell you, Ivy, he's the slimiest article we've had around here for donkey's years. I did three numbers for him, kid. I thought crack and when I run out of backing track. Anyway, there he's sat. First he has a fag, then he pulls out a match and starts picking his teeth. And all the way through it, there's this fella stood at the bar, stoned out of his mind, and he keeps muttering, Sing Jezebel! <laughs> anyway, at the death, there's silence. He dimps his cig, then he walks over and says, Well, I like the drummer. Yeah, you! I nearly died. Anyway, my heart stopped beating and my chin's on the floor and I'm ready to slink off. And then he says, wait for this. He says, you're not a bad chanteuse yourself. Chanteuse, yeah? It's French for singer. Yeah, he said, you're not a bad chanteuse. Hey, yeah. Oh, Dad, hang on. You're not doing anything, are you? No dates or nothing. Only I've got something to tell you. Well, I've got nothing planned, but you never know. Crikey, don't you cast an overtime service, stop. Look, I'll see you down ten tomorrow. The outside Woolies. You can buy me a burger to celebrate. Yeah, and if I've got a bag with me, you know the old fella's done the predictable thing. All right, then. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed for me. All right, then. See you. Oh, please, don't let him start on about all levels. <laughs>